projector is characterized by 640 by 360 NHD resolution, which displays at a rather dim brightness of 15 lumens, which means that you'll have to keep the room very dark, like the one we have here, to get the maximum 50 inch image size at 2 meters. In brighter environments, you'll have to get much closer to the wall for the image to be even somewhat visible. Once you turn on the projector of the Galaxy Beam, you're welcomed with a quick shortcut menu which allows you to adjust the focus, rotate, as well as access the quick pad, which is a neat feature which allows you to use a pointer to highlight various aspects on the screen, as well as a pen to draw the attention to screen elements and bring attention to things that you want your audience to notice. There's also a dedicated projector app which allows you to access various applications such as ambience mode to play any media from your Galaxy Beam on the projector. You can adjust this to uh, various lengths of time uh, or the entire duration of a clip if you like. You can also loop. There's also a visual presenter which allows you to display on the, on the projector what is currently being shot by the rear facing camera. This is great for turning your device into a sort of overhead projector type of interface. Uh, there's also briefing mode which allows you to set your beam as a sort of alarm clock and uh, you, can, you can display all sorts of things here such as time and date, weather, news, and is a great way to set it to wake you up in the morning. And finally, there is uh, the settings menu, which allows you to adjust various things such as the brightness, uh, the screen timeout, and the rotation settings. As far as the software goes, the Galaxy Beam features the usual uh, Android with uh, TouchWiz interface overlaid on top of it. It has the usual video player, which is very functional. And again, plays all the videos and pictures through the Beam's projector interface. You also have the AllShare app, which allows you to uh, wirelessly cast any of the image onto a DLNA-enabled device. And there's, of course, the full-featured music player and Office Suite.